Elizabeth Van Lu, a woman from Richmond, Virginia, planned for Mary Elizabeth Bowser to spy on Jefferson Davis. Jefferson Davis was a Confederate president and, and Bowser a past slave. When almost caught and arrested, she claimed she was mentally unbalanced to escape charges. Elizabeth Van Lu was a severe abolitionist who risked her life passing secret information onto the Union Army from the South. I'm Elizabeth Van Lu. Ulysses S. Grant once told me, you are the person who has sent me the most useful information I have received from Richmond during the war. I am now sending Mary Elizabeth Bowser to go spy on Confederate President Jefferson Davis. Clara Barton became a nurse and brought food and supplies to the wounded troops. She began helping by bringing supplies to the war victims attacked by the South in Baltimore, Maryland. She also helped the troops by writing letters to them and praying with them to show emotional support. Barton was once a school teacher and found the need to help with first aid on the battlefield. She cooked for the troops and gave them her self-taught nursing. She was nicknamed the Angel of the Battlefield for all her support. Barton also founded the Red Cross in 1881. While soldiers stand their fight, I can stand and feed and nurse them. Louisa May Alcott, Sojourner Truth, Harriet Chapman, and Mary Walker, along with 3,000 other women, helped the troops in the time of need. The environment for, for these nurses to work and was harsh and unhealthy at times because of the various diseases and contagious sickness, sicknesses. In some cases, female nurses were viewed as too delicate for their surroundings. Mary Walker became a battlefield doctor and won the Congressional Medal of Honor for her efforts. No woman under 30 need a play to serve in government hospitals. All nurses are required to be very plain looking Nurses' dress must be brown or black with no bows, curls, no jewelry, and no non frills As a surgeon, I have always wanted to assist the war by becoming a doctor to the troops. I have tried again and again, but they will not let me join the Union Army. I have heard many say I am abstraction or too delicate or unla unladylike. I will defy the ones who tell me no, and instead I will become a doctor on the battlefield and assist the surgeons in Washington Hospital. The sight of several stretchers, each with its legless, armless, or discreetly wounded <laughs> occupant, entering my war, I dominate that I was there to work. No wonder or weeps, so I worked up my feelings and returned to the path of duty. Women were down and discussed themselves as men to enlist their into the Union Army. One woman, Franklin Thomas, known by her original female Sarah Adams, was severely hurt in a battle in the spring of 1863. Not wanting to be discovered or noticed, she chose to desert on the way to the hospital. Push! Boom! 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 Oh my gosh, are you okay? Do I need to take you to a hospital? left for the war, there was job opportunities filled by women. You're hired. Congratulations on your new job. Thank you.
up the war efforts by distributing food, clothing, and other needs supplies to the troops. They began aid societies to get people to donate money to pay for more material to help assist. This was crucial for the women to help their husbands and family members fight in the war. These are for you, soldier. Here's some food. Women often had to take over family houses, businesses, and farms once their husbands were enlisted in the army. These work conditions were dangerous in order to keep the household operating. Many had to plant and farm in the fields to help feed their families. Now, now that my husband is in battle and not home to help, I am in change of the field work. Every day I have taken over his jobs of plowing, fields, cutting timber, planting seeds, and talking, taking care of farm animals. In addition to my usual charge, it's all too much work.